rock and roll. And um, I'm going to turn on the light here as soon as we get going. But uh, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. This is Eric with Rock and H TV, session number 24. Tonight, we are continuing our series on a Ford Louisville Top Shelf Replicas Ford Louisville end dump truck product project. And uh, as far as the end dump project, the end dump piece of it goes, um, we're going to paint some parts today. We're going to do the bed out of white, strong, and flexible polished from shapeways.com and then also frosted ultra detail also from shapeways.com and then I have a couple of other parts that I will show you and how I treat those before I paint them okay so I'm gonna turn on a light right behind me and then uh, I'm gonna grab some parts over here so I can just show you just a couple of things and then we're gonna do some painting here we go Okay, now we're back. Okay, um, you can't see me very well, but that doesn't matter as long as you can see the parts. Okay, I've told you once before that this whole system I've had designed um, works together. So here's the mounting frame. It's 3D printed in black, strong, and flexible. I'm not going to paint this. Some guys like to paint these. Um, this comes as a dull finish, just like they would in the real world because they're not shiny. So it's a dull finish, and it is paint ready. Or, I mean, excuse me. It is ready to go together just like it is. And uh, so I'm not even going to bother paint this. You can paint it if you choose to. I don't. I buy them in packs of 10. I think they're available in the, this way in my store. And uh, I just cut them apart and use them as they are. The one I'm using tonight here, or the one I have in my hand, I just received these in the mail, um, are for the MA, any of the 20 and 22 foot beds. So any of them that are, you can buy in my Shapeway store. This frame right here will fit all of those. Next, we have here, hi Braden. This is the hoist and it comes wired up like this in separate pieces. This is in blue, strong and flexible polished, okay? And I buy this also in a builder's pack of 10. Uh, again, they're available in my store. I cut these apart off of the wires and then I'll assemble them and then um, if they're for me, if I'm doing them for myself, I don't paint them, but if they're going out the door, I go ahead and I paint these up just like they are, okay? I paint these up, uh, and then you can also get all the pins painted and everything will be beautiful. So the hoist here, I will assemble, I'll cut apart, assemble, and then uh, make sure it's glued, and then paint. And there's a tutorial at rockinhtv.com uh, that shows you how to assemble this as well as the other part, okay? All right, now, this is the fun part. This is uh, white, strong, and flexible polish. This is the KN22. This is a nap hide, nap heat, however you say that. It's a stake bed. Um, it comes individually wrapped for your protection in this handy dandy Ziploc bag. Now, I will show you how I will prep white, strong, and flexible polish for painting. Okay, this is an unopened bag, by the way. I just got this in the mail today. So, this is how I prep white, strong, and flexible polished. First, I inspect it to make sure that there's no leftover powder residue on here. On occasion, some parts of mine will have uh, pockets of residue, just the leftover powder. On occasion, it's usually with white, strong, and flexible but not the polished, but I just inspect it. Okay, inspecting. Now I'm gonna clean it, and now I'm going to put it in the helping hands to paint it. Okay. So, here we go. I'm gonna put this just like this. Wire that up like so, there we go. Get you in the shot. Okay. This bad boy's ready to paint. Now, you just saw what I did there. I cleaned it by... Okay, it's ready for paint. Um, because I don't like overspray on my hands, which I'm notorious for getting everywhere, only one more place we need to check. Okay, 
I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see. Maybe. Come on, flip around, goofball. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to try and do this so I get you in the shot. Okay, I almost forgot. I am using um, this color right here. You'll notice this is metallic green. I'm using this color for the first coat. And the reason for that is, is this material is porous like Swiss cheese, and it will take quite a bit of paint. And I have this goofy crap that I hate that I want to use up. You know, why couldn't I just throw it away, right? No, I can't do that. i got to use it up, right? So I'm going to use it up on this. So this is basically the first coat, actually the first couple coats, when I use a strong and flexible polished or strong and flexible. Let me see if I can. i got to hold this different so I don't bump you. There we go. Now that's better. See why I wear the gloves? And I feel like a monkey here trying to do this around my camera, my phone. <laughs> all right. Now, you'll notice I have left this wire on here all the way around. I'm going to leave that until I get a couple of coats in on this. Just because then I don't have to worry about handling all those little parts. You'll notice I'm being kind of generous with this paint too, and that's because, again, this particular material is just going to absorb all of that paint. It's just going to suck it up. Okay. All right. Let me see here. There you go. Now you can kind of see what I've done there. And then I'm going to set this one down. And... Here's the one I painted just a little bit ago. These are going to end up being black. That's why I can use this lime green and get away with it. Because, again, it will be black, and black will cover up all of that. Okay. Any questions on that? Hello, Brandon. Any questions on that, guys? That was That's down and dirty on White Strong and Flexible Polish from Shapeways.com. And I do know there's a glare, guys, but it saves me from running back and forth to my light switch. Um, if you have questions on that, type them, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to show you um, Frosted Ultra Detail, okay? Okay. Frosted Ultra Detail. And I bought some. Um, these aren't my design. Um, the bed and the hoist and all that is, these are not my design. This is, uh, this comes from, um, Harvest Rate 50, I think. I believe I bought that from him. Okay, so here's the, the fuel tank, and I know there's a glare. Sorry about that. Um, this comes in frosted ultra detail. Now, this generally comes with some sort of a sticky residue, or it, it, it's got a funky residue on it. And if you do not clean this before you prime it, that paint's not going to dry, or at least it's been my experience so far, that the paint doesn't cure, it just stays sticky uh, because of that funky residue. So what I do is I have some clean lacquer thinner I just keep in a mason jar, actually a salsa jar. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip that. Just dip it. See? Nothing fancy. It's just a quick dip. Okay? There it is. I have me an old rag. I'm just going to wipe off any of the... Uh, Excess lacquer thinner. Get my rag out of the way. And then I have this holder. Okay, this comes with a hole in the bottom of it. So you can put a piece of rod or something in your helping hands. And ta-da, perfect holder. And I have two tanks here because I'm doing two trucks. Right and left. There we go. Okay. And they have that particular style of tank. Or close to it. Okay, I'm not using anything fancy, just good old Rust-Oleum primer. Here we go. Just now I reach over. 
Okay. Woo! Don't fall off my holder, dude. And I'm just making sure I got them all the way covered. Oh, no spot there. Okay. And let me see. And there they are. These are actually pretty nice tanks. They look kind of cool. I mean, they look like the old square step tanks you'd see on these old trucks. And I know some of them had rounds, some of them had rectangles and squares and whatever else. Okay. Next, here is ones I just painted uh, before we came on. Well, actually, I painted it earlier, and so um, they are ready for paint now. Okay, so I'm going to shoot a little black on these. Okay, so a little black on those. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm not painting everything so you can see it, but wow, that's a little trickier than I thought it'd be. Okay. And you'll notice, yeah, I'm taking short blasts on this, but I'm basically not going to paint these unless they just really need a second coat. I'm only going to paint them once. Okay, and you know, it's really warm in my shop uh, right now. It's 90 degrees in here. So uh, that paint's going to be nice and sticky. It's going to dry quick. So I'm not worried about runs either. But there they are with a coat of paint on them. Okay, so that is Oh, come on turn around. Boy, sorry guys. There we go. Okay. Okay. That is basically it for